okay so welcome students today we are going to see the experiment number 5 that is uh, about semiconductors so when we talk about the semiconductor you first uh, think about the electronics circuits electronic pcb printed circuit board like that and also you will be uh, thinking when we talk about the semiconductor materials are the different devices which are related with uh, automation and computer related thing because semiconductor materials are extensively used in this segment but if you talk about the semiconductor materials what exactly the property of that material what exactly the material is made up of what are the different examples of these materials this is what we are looking for in today's session so we we can see here that it's introduced as semiconductor is a solid state substance that can be electrically altered like it has some properties which are not very common in the different materials it has a very special properties like uh, examples if we get of these elements which you can get in nature that is silicon and germanium and they are also attached or they are combined with the other elements we call it as a impurity okay so they has the property of insulator as well as conductor so why such kind of material is introduced okay so we can say that this kind of materials possesses the special property and because of this special property that they can be converted into the conductor as well as insulator as of their parameter so if we change the parameter we can have the different usage of our material as a conductor or as a insulator so that is a uh, we can say that ye unki khasiyat hai now also if we talk about the semiconductor materials they are having uh, their <coughs> dependency or we can say that they are uh, they are having the relation with the temperature also it means if they are having a a uh, higher temperature their conductivity try to increase so there are different things which we are going to learn about the semiconductor materials today so now when we talk about the semiconductor material these are having the electrical conductivity at the room temperature is that of the conductor as well as an insulator at the high temperature it is becoming as a conductor at at low temperature it act as a insulator now in semiconductor there is a limited movement of electrons okay limited movement of electrons and why this movement is limited because it's dependent on the crystal structure okay crystal structure of this particular material so now we have two types of this semiconductor material so basically two types is like first one is called as a intrinsic semiconductor now what is the meaning of this intrinsic semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor is like a pure semiconductor okay it's a purest form of semiconductor and second one is intrinsic and extrinsic so when we talk about the extrinsic semiconductor we are talking about the pure form of semiconductor is added with some impurities and as per the type of the impurity the semiconductor is uh, separated or we can say they are classified okay so if the substance used for adding the uh, in the germanium or silicon then as per the type of impurity we can add the free electrons or we are creating the holes it means we can have the excess extra electrons in it or we can have the deficiency of electrons and because of these two conditions both the structures of this particular material is completely varies in which one is having a extra electron and another one is having a one or two electron less it means one type can give the electron and one can accommodate the electron so that is the beauty of this particular material okay so now first one which is uh, we can say that it has extra electron or it has a deficiency of electrons so what are they type called as they are called as a n type here you have n type where the current carriers are negative and another one is a p type so there is one 
called as a n type semiconductor and one is called as a p type semiconductor okay so i hope it is clear to you okay moving ahead with this aage badhte hain now once we understand the types of this uh, types of this materials now we come across the structure structure of this particular material structure mein kya hoga wo hum dekhte hain abhi semiconductor is a material with the we are going to the structure now abhi iske pehle hame ek band theory ke bare mein seekhna hai jo shayad aapne pehle padha hoga i think it is visible now so when we talk about the energy of electrons which are present inside the material there are two types of uh, you know bands are there basically one is called as a conduction band and one is called as a valence band where we don't have any uh, comparison you can say or any uh, difference between these two bands then we call it as a conductor and if the energy gap is between valence as conduction band is so large then it will acting as a insulator but in the this particular diagram in this b diagram uh, is my mouse pointer visible to you okay so b uh, diagram is indicating that semiconductor material is having a very small uh, energy gap and that energy gap is dependent on the different circuit parameters okay and because of this gap we are in a position where we can overlap this particular uh bands and either make this material as a conductor or we can increase this energy gap and by which we can make this material act as a insulator now when this particular energy band gap is dependent on the interatomic spacing and how we are going to change that or our semiconductor okay so when we talk about the large energy gap between the valence and conduction bands in an insulator that it's a ordinary temperature and no extra electrons can reach the conduction band so whatever amount of energy that electron was having is already used to match or we can say that breach that gap but the electron is not in a position to go to the conduction band whereas in the semiconductor the band gap is small so that a thermal energy can breach that gap for a small fraction of the electrons some electrons are called as a thermally generated electrons and because of that there is chances that electrons will go into the conduction band and it will start acting as a conductor now let's see what exactly this energy bands are used for how they are uh, helpful when we talk about the application application of semiconductor material but before that we must see the structure of our semiconductor material so there are so many uh, list this is a list okay list of semiconductor materials so if someone ask you what are the different semiconductor materials then group four elements will be considered as semiconductor like diamond silicon germanium also compounds uh, semiconductor materials are like silicon carbide silicon germanide and then we have aluminum anti munide okay so these are the different types of uh, materials which are called as semiconductor materials so write down this list in your notebook sir screenshot lega to nahi chalega also i will be sharing this uh, pdf with you in the google classroom so make sure you write down this complete list in your assignment so this is the introduction and this is a list list of materials so different materials all the types of materials are there the list is very big and now we are going to see when we talk about uh, yes this is the electron and hole structure so this is what i was talking about intrinsic semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor is like a silicon crystal in a different form of an insulator because at temperature about the absolute zero there is a finite probability that electrons in this particular uh, structure will be loosed in its position and it may uh, create a hole or we can say that electron 
deficiency deficiency or deficiency now if voltage we are applying across this material then electron and hole can be again try to contribute in the flow of current okay so a current flow is se ho sakta hai and because of which you can experience that uh, there is a uh, pure semiconductor is uh, just uh, doing the flow of electrons only for the amount of holes if there are any and those are thermally generated so no any extra uh, electron hole pair which is possible okay second one when it is doping with the n type and p type semiconductors formation then we call it as here that an added electron in the structure so shared electrons for covalent bond i will give you the diagram also where you can find the structure of semiconductor material so one is intrinsic semiconductor so this diagram this particular diagram of intrinsic semiconductor give me a moment so this is a trivalent impurity now what do you mean by trivalent impurity okay. see now you can see here in the pentavalent impurity you have five external electrons can you see that just type five in the chat box five electrons in the outer most orbit can you see five electrons here just type five in the chat box antimony uh, jo impurity hai usme five electrons hai so we called as a pentavalent impurity okay so now when it's a boron impurity boron or aluminum or gallium which is also called as a acceptor impurity then it is a trivalent impurity okay and the pentavalent impurity is a donor impurity so can you see three electrons at the outermost orbit here okay perfect ye diagram aapko draw karna hai आपको जूम करके दे देता हूँ इज इट विजिबल नाउ ओके ड्रॉ इट डन एवरी वन जस्ट लेट मी नो इन दैट बॉक्स आपको ड्रॉ करने को बोला था हुआ क्या कब बताओगे नाउ वेन वी आर एडिंग दिस इम्प्यूरिटी दिस ट्राइवल एंड एंड पेंटावल एंड इम्प्यूरिटी वॉट एक्जैक्टली द चेंज हैपन इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अवर सेमी कंडक्टर मटेरियल दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी से फॉर एग्जाम्पल The SI stands for the silicon atom. Can you see here silicon atom structure? Now in this, hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in the silicon atoms, four atoms are there, and they are sharing a impurity here. Now donor impurity is contributing for the free electron. Now how it is possible? Because in the silicon you have four. extra you know four not extra you can say four uh, electrons in the outermost orbit and sb has a another five one two three four total five okay we have seen earlier right yahan pe humne dekha tha we have five electrons which you have drawn also now this five electrons is making a bond with four electrons from the nearby silicon atom and they become total 8 octal unka ban gaya but one will be the remaining electron which will act as a free electron okay so now adding a donor impurity will add an one extra electron in the overall structure of our semiconductor material yahan tak samajh mein aaya aapko aage badhte hain ye draw karna hai aapko उसको हेडिंग देना है एन टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर जैसे ही ड्रॉ करके होगा जस्ट टाइप डन इन द चैट बॉक्स नाउ देर इज अम ऑडिबल टू यू हेलो सर ओके यस सर या या ओके सो हियर इज अ स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक सो दिस इज नॉट अ एन टाइप दिस इज अ पी टाइप बिकॉज नाउ द इम्प्यूरिटी इज एडेड इज अ बोरॉन ओके बोरॉन इम्प्यूरिटी यहाँ पे एड किया है सिल्लीकॉन में सेम स्ट्रक्चर में where three electrons are there which are shared with the another silicon uh, you know outermost electrons but there is one impurity uh, is having an one electrons deficiency matlab wahan pe ek aur electron aa sakta hai jiski wajah se eight jo hai wo pure honge and this is called as a hole or we can say deficiency of the electron to yahan pe n ke jagah pe sirf p likhna hai and you have to draw this diagram 
go ahead okay so i hope you have done with it so now these are the different uh, structures of semiconductor material now we are going to see the application of semiconductor material so now if we talk about the application as you know that this is a very common material for our electronics devices so do you know any devices which are used in electronics क्या क्या डिवाइसेस आपको पता है जो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट्स में यूज होती है सबसे तो पहले हमें अगर हम देखते तो याद आता है वो है हमारा डायोड डायोड के बारे में सुना है आपने डायोड इज वन ऑफ द डिवाइसेस यस जस्ट टाइप दिस डिवाइसेस इन द चैट बॉक्स सेकंड इज ट्रांजिस्टर एंड देन इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट लाइक आईसी जिसको बोलते हैं ना हम आईसी इज अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स नाउ देन दिस पर्टिकुलर डिवाइसेस आर using the semiconductor material because of its reliability power efficiency and the very low cost okay so this is an advantage now if you talk about the industrial usage of electronic semiconductor materials kya hote hai jaise ki humne dekha hai koi microchips hai ic ics hai wahan par use hota hai second is transistor leds solar cell mein bhi semiconductor material istemal hota hai microprocessor aapke mobile phone mein जितने भी पी सी बी रिलेटेड डिवाइसेस है उसमें पूरा आपका ये सेमी कंडक्टर मटेरियल जो है वो यूज होता है ओके okay? यहाँ तक क्लियर है सबको परफेक्ट परफेक्ट रोबोटिक्स में देन डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक अप्लायसेस में ये यूज होता है ओके okay, आगे बढ़ते हैं दीज आर अनदर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर डिवाइसेस जस्ट पोज दिस इन द चैट बॉक्स so that you can understand again okay. okay so we have discussed so many things about the semiconductor so now you can just go through a data sheet of a semiconductor material and write a report on it yahan tak clear hua sabko so excel number 5 maine aapke yahan pe post kiya hai to usko aapko submit karna hai within a week to so next week mein mujhe ye 5 assignments sabke ready hone chahiye cr kon hai aapke class ka इसमें ड्यू डेट नहीं दिया ऐसा मतलब नहीं कि इसको कंप्लीट नहीं करना है ओके okay? इतने लोगों को ऐसा प्रॉब्लम है कि सर ड्यू डेट नहीं दिया तो हमने नहीं किया ऐसा है कोई नो no, सर नहीं ना नो सर नेक्स्ट वीक तक हो जाएगा पास के बाद हां नेक्स्ट वीक तक हो जाएगा सर 31 तारीख लास्ट देता हूं मैं आपको ठीक है 31 तारीख तक होना चाहिए ठीक है तो आज के लिए इतना ही मार्क योर अटेंडेंस and you can leave the meeting abhi kisi ko kuch doubt hai isko 31st diya na isko bhi 31st dena hai theek hai ye week mein aapko complete karna hai isko theek hai kisi ko kuch doubt hai 